So this is the first Star Wars Unlimited pack that I am opening in my entire life. I've never opened one of these packs before. This is from the Spark of Rebellion set that just came out. All right, let's get this open. Tail easy. Okay, so there's kind of like a papery feel to it. So it should just rip open. That's pretty good. I'm happy. That's not like weird plastic that's like clomping on top of each other and stuff. I don't think that there's a card trick with these. So we'll just kind of look through them and we'll enjoy some of the art together. So here is Thrawn. It's a good look at Grand Admiral Thrawn. Oh, sorry, Grand Moff Tarkin, my bad. I said Thrawn, meant Tarkin. I know that <laughs> Thrawn is blue and he's literally on the pack art. Uh, there's Tarkin, there's our boy. So he looks pretty good there. I think I like that. Pretty good likeness on that. Uh, and then here's some of his card art and his game text. Experience token to an Imperial unit. So that should be pretty useful right there. Uh, and he is a common, so it'll say C in the bottom right corner uh, if he's a common, and then that'll change based on what else we got. All right, so let's see what else we get here. So this is a command center. So this is a base. So you need these. You can only play one of these, at least for now, in the starter sets. And it has his HP in the top left. And this is what you're defending the whole time. You want to destroy somebody else's base. This is a common base command center for the Death Star. Uh, it looks pretty good. You can see... I like how you can see like the little um, landing bays over there, like docking bays and stuff. That's cool. This, oh yeah, this one, I've seen this art before. I think that the way that they designed the snow troopers in general are awesome. Look how dope that snow trooper looks. That's just the first Legion one. There's a, there's another, there's like a lieutenant that looks really cool too. So this is still just another common, but really cool little unit that'll help you get the job done. This is a consortium star viper. Interesting. It's got like flappy wings and stuff. I don't know if I've ever seen that ship before. Consortium star viper. That's cool. While you have the initiative, which is a thing where you can claim it each round, um, this unit gains Restore 2. When this unit attacks, heal 2 damage from your base. So this is going to be one of those cards that's going to help you heal your base, which is very important. <clears throat> death Trooper. Look at the Death Trooper. Look how badass he looks. He's got that one hand thing going on. He's got the, the Tropic Thunder thing going on. <laughs> uh, deal 2 damage to a friendly ground unit and 2 damage to an enemy ground unit. All right, so he's spreading it all around. That's cool. Cantina Braggart. Oh, boy, this might be my dude. Cantina Braggart. Raid 2. This unit gets plus 2 slash plus 0 while attacking. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but pretty cool. We got our uh, Cycloptic colleague there going on. Vanguard Infantry. So we got, like, a nice, like, Mud Trooper guy going here. Uh, this was like Mimbin Stormtrooper Han, uh, from Solo. That's like, kind of like what that came from. You may give an experience token to a unit. Okay, so experience. Here's an Alliance X-Wing. Okay, so this one they actually have as a card mat, this art. So I wanted to see this art a little bit closer, because there's a couple different, uh, play mats that they have available. There's a Death Star. There's the Vader with the Snow Troopers on Hoth. There's the X-Wing and there's a TIE Fighter. And I'm like kind of sp split on which one I want to get. So just being able to see the card art in person. I definitely want to look at those cards next to each other and, and decide which mat if I decide to get a mat. But just Alliance X-Wing. He's just there to basically do damage. <clears throat> this is an event card. Okay, so this is like kind of like an effect. Defeat and upgrade. So I guess if someone else has an upgraded unit or something going on, you can just confiscate their upgrade. Probably like a shield or something like that. I think you could put a shield on somebody. So you could like play this, knock the shield off of somebody, and then attack, say, with the X-Wing we just had. That could be work. Swoop, swoop. We got swoops. Swoops in. That's cool. A little Rodian on the swoop. He has a little mohawk going. Fringe. I don't know what that means, but okay. 
All right, so just another battle unit. Cell Block Guard. Still commons here. So just an Imperial Trooper. Units in this arena can attack your non-Sentinel units or your base. Okay, very interesting. So you actually can go after a base, I guess, if there's a Sentinel out already. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Two tubes. There's our dude hanging out. Getting, getting the bullet ready. Um, on attack. Another friendly... Uh, that's a type of... Aspect here. I'm not 100% I'm not sure what all the aspect effects are yet. But that's that specific aspect unit gains raid 2 for this phase. Two tubes looking good. I like his rifle. His rifle looks really good. The art actually is really growing on me. Some of the art when I first saw it, I wasn't too crazy about it, but I think that they did a good job. It's like it's diverse. There's like a lot going on. I don't. I think there's like a couple different art styles that we're going with. Uh, here's Veers. There's our dude on his at at. Other friendly Imperial units gain plus one attack and defense. Inferno four. So this is a uncommon. See in the bottom right, uncommon. <clears throat> Looks cool. I like that it has like the, the ship behind it. That's pretty cool art. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Put any number of them on the bottom of your deck and the rest on top in any order. Okay, so you're like mixing things up there. Here's Obi-Wan. Oh boy. Here's a rare Obi-Wan. Nice looking Alec Guinness going on here. Units in this arena can attack your non-Sentinel units or your base. Okay. Um, give two experience tokens to another friendly unit if it's a force unit. Draw a card. Okay, so he's kind of like, like he said, Obi-Wan. He manages the force. He's creating experience. He's helping people do stuff. That's cool. He also has six cost, four attack, and six health. So he's doing decent damage. And then six health. He's hard to take down. Now what do we got here? Here's going to be our hit. So this is a foil rare. Foil card. Okay. so nothing, Oh, and it is borderless, right? It is borderless. So this is going to be. Hmm, it's not hyperspace, though. Oh, it no, it has a border. My bad. So this is just a foil rare. Anyway, <clears throat> so not a crazy hit, but it's so cool to have Galactic Ambition as a foil. Play a non-that type of aspect unit from your hand for free. Deal damage to your base equal to its cost. Okay, so you're basically trading getting a unit that you want. And putting damage on your own base. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, so quick review here of these before we move on to our next pack. So obviously we have our hit here. Galactic Ambition. And then we had the Obi-Wan who was a rare. Uh, we had the Uncommon Inferno 4. We had the Uncommon Veers. We had the Uncommon 2 Tubes. This was a common cell block guard, common swoop, common confiscate. I think the rest of these are going to be commons. Yeah, tie is common. Vanguard infantry is common. Braggart is common. Death trooper is common. I think the rest of these are just commons. Consortium Star Viper, the Legion. Command Center, and the Tarkin. <clears throat> I mean, I think that the Obi-Wan is probably my favorite from that. Even though it's not a foil. Um, but overall, pretty cool stuff. So that's our first pack. 